Uh, hello, here we are with the Monash physicist Chava Balash, and he's involved with Large Hadron Collider and a lot of our students want to find out can Large Hadron Collider create a black hole and swallow up Earth? <laughs> yes, so this is a two-part question. The first part, whether the LHC can create the black hole, the answer is definitely yes. And the second part, no, it's not going to swallow up Earth. So basically, uh, the Large Hadron Collider may be able to create a black hole on three conditions. First, the black hole is small enough. Second, the black hole has uh, small enough energy. And the third is that uh, what is called the Planck scale, the scale of uh, energy scale of uh, gravity, and I will tell you in a little bit more about this, is low enough for the uh, LHC to create this black hole. So the first thing is the black, black hole should be small enough. So if you imagine a beach ball, that black hole is going to be much, much smaller. In fact, uh, if you imagine a, a dust particle on the top of the beach ball, that's about a million times smaller, a micron, uh, than, than the beach ball, then you have to imagine a million times smaller than a dust particle. That's about the size of this black hole that the Large Hadron Collider can create and not, not, more, not bigger than that. The second is the energy of the black hole has to be relatively small. And what this means is that if you imagine a mosquito and flying, uh, flapping his wing, um, the energy of in, a, in, a, in a wing flap of a mosquito is about the same energy that that black hole can create. So uh, that's relatively small in human scale. However, if that energy is concentrated in one particle, that's a very high energy density. Now, the third thing is probably the most in interesting, namely uh, whether what, is what we call the Planck scale can be lowered uh, to, the, to the energy scale of the Large Hadron Collider. And uh, typically uh, in physics, we know the Planck scale as what is called a 10 to the 19 giga electron volts. In other words, about a million times million times million higher than the, uh, than the energy um, of the process when, for example, an atomic bomb is blown up. So that's way high for even for the Large Hadron Collider. However, if, and this is the interesting part, if our space is not only three-dimensional, but higher dimensional, then uh, this uh, Planck scale in the higher dimensions can be close to the uh, size of, to the uh, energy scale of the Large Hadron Collider. So the LHC in multidimensional space can create a um, black hole. So this this black hole would actually um, be not just in our three dimensions, but uh, in uh, let's say altogether nine spatial dimensions. And this is extremely intriguing. This has been looked at uh, for about a decade now. Uh, there's various uh, higher dimensional um, theories. And uh, what the, what, what the uh, theorists are finding is that this is a possibility. We have not seen these dimensions, but the Large Hadron Collider is trying to uh, probe them. And, and exactly the way it, it tries to probe them is, is to creating a black hole, which would show that these uh, higher dimensions are there. Well, that was a very good explanation. But is it going to then swallow the Earth's equivalent of Earth in the other dimension? Well, that's a quite, quite a good question. However, uh, that's not going to happen. So uh, amongst the experts who looked at these questions, uh, there is Stephen Hawking, who is a black hole expert. And what Hawking tell us, tells us is that um, the black hole forms in, let's say, nine dimensions. However, it's extremely small. Uh, as I said in the beginning, it's a millionth of a millionth of a beach ball. So what happens with a small black hole that it immediately evap evaporates, it, no, matter, uh, no matter how many dimensions uh, uh, this is in. So it's going to uh, just create a small particle level fireball uh, zillions of particles will come out of it, and then the black hole ceases to exist in a fraction of a fraction of a second. So there is no uh, worry about uh, the black hole swallowing up the Earth because uh, it's a very small black hole, and because we, we cannot really create a big, big enough black hole which would uh, endanger the Earth, it's not a problem. Good to know. <laughs>